The lathe modifier allows you to create an arc-like extrusion from a pivot point. It does require that you start off using the pen modifier to create a brush shape actor, so that's how we're going to begin this demonstration. I'm going to jump over to the side view, and let's switch over to the pen modifier. Now take a look at my settings. Notice that auto extrude is currently switched off, and create brush shape is currently switched on. You're going to need these settings if you want to create a brush shape actor to be used with a lathe. Now, when you're creating this brush shape, think of this as a cross-section of the object that you'd like to lathe. So, for instance, if we want to create an arcing walkway, say like a corner walkway that rotates around 90 degrees, we need to draw out a cross-section of that walkway. So, just like with the pen tool, I'm just going to tap the space bar. We'll drag out the overall width of our walkway. I'll go up a couple of units. Let's make a little, you know, kind of an indented center. And say here... And there we go. So there's a very simple cross section. Now we can take a look at this over in perspective. There it is. It's around here someplace. So here is our brush shape actor. Now this is what we're going to use for a lathe. As a matter of fact, since we have it selected, you'll notice that suddenly lathe has become active. Now let's check out the settings here. We have three settings. We have align to side, which is actually a little easier to understand once you've seen a lathe in action. Down from here, we have segments and total segments. The segments property will tell it will basically allow you to punch in the number of segments you'd like when the lathe operation is complete. Total segments allows you to input the number of segments required to rotate 360 degrees. It sounds kind of complex at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's an easy way to come up with the angle of your total rotation. So in this case, with our default settings of 4 and 16, 4 is 1 fourth of 16. 90 degrees is 1 fourth of 360, so using these numbers, we would get a 90 degree arc that had a total of four segments when it was finished. Now, a couple of things you need to think about when you get to this point. One is where is the pivot point of your actor? Because it, the pivot point is going to be the center of the arc's rotation. So if the pivot is here at the corner, we're going to rotate from this point, which is okay, but not exactly what I have in mind. We need to know how to move the pivot. Another thing we need to keep in mind is the active viewport that we're looking through when we click the apply button to run the lathe, because it's going to use the angle, oh, I'm sorry, the axis, excuse me, of the active viewport and rotate about that axis. You'll see how that works here in just a moment. Now, let's start off by moving the pivot point. I'm going to slide the pivot of our object off to the left. In fact, I'm just going to make it jump over there. I'm going to right-click right here on the grid, come down to Pivot, and choose Move Here Snapped. And you can see that that moved the pivot over to the left of our object, which we can verify down here in our little tiny perspective view. All right, so our pivot is in the right location. Let's take a look at lathing around the wrong axis first. So let's say I was looking over here in the side view and I click the apply button, check out what happened. Triangulation failure, reverting brush to previous state. We get all kinds of error messages that are just going to click like crazy until this goes away. So I'm going to reset my red builder brush. What happened was we arced around and created a brush that was infinitely thin because we used the wrong axis. So make sure you're looking down the proper camera. So let's come over here to the top view. Once again, let's move the pivot point. I'll just right click and choose pivot move here snapped. Now let's do this again from the top view. So we'll click lathe and just click apply. And now we can see that we have rotated around and we've created kind of a little arcing walkway. Now if we wanted to use some different settings, like for instance, if we wanted to rotate around a full 360 degrees, we can still do that. Creating your lathe does not destroy that brush shape actor. So we could just move the red builder brush out of the way. And if you look closely, our brush shape actor is still there and waiting. So I'm going to move its pivot point once again. Say to right here. Now this time, let's go into lathe and change some settings. Let's say we want 32 total segments. And we want, or we want 32 segments when we're done. And it'll take a total of 32 segments to rotate around 360 degrees. Okay, so 32 and 32, we'll click apply and we get a 360 degree rotation. However, 
take a look at the angles that we have. We don't really have a flat side that lines up orthogonally with our primary axes. Like there's no way that we could set this on edge without rotating it to some kind of odd rotation. This is where the align to side property comes in. So if we jump back over to lathe, you can see align to side. Now I'm gonna move our pivot once again, like we're gonna recreate that brush we just made. So right click, once again, pivot, move here, snapped. And before I do anything, let's actually jump over here for a minute and I wanna add this guy to the world. So I'm gonna hit control A just to add that. Now that's a really complex brush, probably more complex than anything you'd ever really wanna use, but you know, it's cool for a demo. All right, so now with him added, let's move the pivot. Let's do the exact same lathe operation, this time with align to side active and click apply. Now take a look at my sides. We actually have one side that is flat and aligned to the axis. Now what that did though is that kind of changed the overall rotation so that over here we've got things that are a little bit messy, but we do have flat sides to work with now. And if we compare the two side by side, in fact, let's go ahead and make our viewport nice and big. You can see how at the bottom of this shape over here, we've got kind of a point that does not align very well with a, a flat surface. Where over here, we do have that flat surface. So that's what align to side is going to do. So that is a quick look at the lathe modifier. Again, really, it's just a way to create arc-like extrusions with a set number of segments. That will wrap up this video. Thanks a lot.